every day that you get a group of individuals who are truly excited to work with one another. But that's the exact case for this next group who came together all feeling like misplacements in their own town. Here to chat more about their rich history, new music, and upcoming shows is lead singer from the band Tomorrow's June, Marcos Molinar, along with the pianist J.D. Marcos, J.D., thank you both so much for joining us here. Thanks for having us. Thank you. Yes, yeah. of course. Really to excited here. to talk all the things that are happening with Tomorrow's June. Yeah. You guys have some new music, upcoming yep. shows. But for our viewers who have maybe never heard of the band or mm -hmm. know what you guys are all about, give us some overview. Yeah, so um, we are four friends from high school that literally did not listen to any of the same music that anyone else did. We didn't dress like anyone. We were out of place. And that's kind of been our motto yeah. our whole life. So we decided to come together and start our own thing. Mm -hmm. You know, it, it started off with pop music and, and kind of going more into rock. And we're just having fun doing it. Yeah, I love you know? that. Yeah. And so what would you say, JD, now that the music has kind of morphed into? Because you mentioned pop, you mentioned a little bit of rock, mm -hmm. but when viewers now tune into Tomorrow's June, what are they going to hear? Yeah, I mean, our sound has changed a lot over the years. Um, like you said, we all have different influences musically. So now our sound has really evolved into kind of into its own space where it's more of like a pop punk, but you can see all the inspiration and you can hear it in our music. Okay, so everybody kind of takes a little bit of their own inspiration and comes together. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And what was the challenge maybe, or the ups and the downs of coming together? Because you mentioned how you guys all come from different backgrounds, you guys were all kind of the misfits in school, but now you guys made it work and came together as a band. So how'd you make yeah. it? Yeah, I mean, it was just finding each other. Mm -hmm. You know, the, you can, there's tons of people you could be friends with, but starting a band is kind of a different thing. You know, it, yeah. it, it's, it's agreeing with each other. It's, it's vibing together, especially while writing music and, and agreeing on what's, you know, what feels right and what you want to put out. So when we found each other, it was like a solid, a rock solid kind of, you know, feel. Mm -hmm. And, and we just, we loved it. We didn't want to get rid of it. And how have you guys grown, would you say, J.D., from the time you guys got together up until now as a band and in friendship as well? I mean, yeah, we've really become brothers over the past 10 years that we've been really a solid unit. Um, we've gone through a lot of experiences together, triumphs and failures throughout our careers. So we're really, we're just stuck together now. We're family. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> You're like, we're not you getting can't rid, get of rid of each other. other. Yeah. No. <laughs> so let's bring it back to the band. Mm -hmm. What are some of the accomplishments that the band is really most proud of? Some performances or yeah. just maybe some collaborations that you guys have done? Yeah, so um, one of our, our coolest things is we got to open up for Snoop. Oh, that's so cool. It's, it was a really cool one. Um, we got, we've done Robin Thicke, Faith Evans, Elder Barge, um, and then we actually sold out our first show ever at Yoshi's in Oakland. Wow, that's so a that was that was a big one for us. Um, but you know, we're we're proud of everything that we do mm -hmm. because we we couldn't have been here without any of the steps that we took. And you should be. You mm -hmm. definitely should be proud of all of the work that you guys put out there. But when it comes to Bay Area music, mm -hmm. something I love to talk about here mm -hmm. on the show, and when I moved to the Bay, I realized how rich it is in yeah. music and entertainment yeah. and talent out here in the Bay Area. Mm -hmm. But what do you guys want the world to know about Bay Area bands? That we're still out there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, I think, I think the idea of bands, especially in the mainstream world, is kind of dying out. Mm -hmm. And, I, you know, I think we want to let people know that bands are still out there. And there's really good bands out there. Yeah. You know, it, it, it's fun to go see a band live in a, a little small hole-in-the-wall, mm -hmm. you know, bar and, and discover really good music. And I, I, want, I want that to come back. Yeah, and these are things, like you said, that really are fun. Maybe people are kind of losing that sense of that bands are a thing still. But like mm -hmm. you said, they are very much a thing. It, yeah. It's still fun to it's come alive. to these. It's yeah. alive, yeah. yeah. Like you said, you don't really hear about the Bay Area music scene when you're outside of the Bay, but you come to the Bay Area, mm -hmm. and it's huge. I mean, there's shows every night, everywhere, and there's fans. There's mm. They connect, they connect with their audiences out here. Yeah, yeah. they're very loyal. Mm -hmm. Very, I always say yeah. loyal to the soil yeah, out here, exactly. Bay Area, yeah. which I truly do admire. So let's now get into the new music that you mm -hmm. guys, what is some of the new projects you guys are working on that people can really look forward to? Yeah, so right now we're in the studio. We're working on our second EP. Mm -hmm. um, we kind of went through this maybe two or three months of just pure writing. Mm -hmm. We weren't doing social media a lot. We were just writing and trying to figure out what that new sound was going to be. Um, I was writing a lot of pop music earlier on, and 
something that the band had talked about was the, the more rock songs that we were putting out were more fun to play live. Mm. And so I was like, well, why don't we just write more rock? Why don't we just kind of make that transition? And we did, and these songs that we have are super fun. We're super excited to put them out. I can see it. Yeah. I can see how excited you guys are yeah. even just yeah. talking about it. So yeah. what, what's coming up? Do you guys have shows people can come check out? Yeah, we have absolutely. Um, we have one, big three right now. In Pacifica, we're going to play at Winter's Tavern. That's Friday the 20th. Mm -hmm. So it's our first show out in this area. Um, afterwards, we're gonna we're really excited to be back at Dia de los Muertos Festival, the Oakland Festival, exciting. by the Unity Council. Yeah. yeah. So this is our third time back. We love to play there. Such a good energy with the crowd. Yeah. Mm. And then we're gonna play Patio in Oakland, which is a smaller um, a venue event that we're um, it's our first time, and we're just super excited for that as well. And yeah. will this be the new music or the new music is to come? Yeah, you're going to hear some of the new music, okay. for sure. Okay, yeah, so just yeah. a little bit of a tease of what people can really expect. Yeah, well, we have a couple of the new songs out already. So uh -huh. Miracle and Chains are already out. Um, and that's a definite, like, look into what's coming more in the, into the future. Yeah, you can expect a lot more. A like lot that. more of that. Okay, good. Yeah. All right, well, I'm very excited. I know a lot of our viewers are going to be as well after watching this interview. So thank you both so much into the rest thank of the band. Yeah. They are back here, everybody. So shout out to the rest of the band. Wait, we do actually soon. have something for you. Oh, please. We wanted yes, to loves that. give you a shirt. Awesome. Oh my gosh. Yeah, let me hold it up for all yeah. the viewers, everybody. Tomorrow's June.